Hey everyone, it is Kerry with Filmmaker Central, and we're talking the DJI Avada today and how to stabilize your footage in post production with GyroFlow. So stay right there. We'll be right back. Now, first off, I'm going to say that the Avada does really, really good with stabilizing footage. You have Rocksteady the latest version, which does a great job, and you have an option to do horizon hold, which is really good. But I think if you want to really, really take advantage of the camera, you can use a product called GyroFlow. And GyroFlow is free, and it's a program that is used to stabilize footage that has gyro data embedded in it. Now, that can be GoPro, that can be Blackmagic cameras, it can be uh, some of the Insta360 footage, it can be some Sony cameras, and the Avada. If you get the latest version of GyroFlow, it has the profile for the Avada in it. So here I am in the GyroFlow interface. I'm going to go over here and I'll open up a file. And I'm going to grab... Uh, just grab a piece of footage here. Now you can see the footage on the screen. On the bottom you have some play controls. On the very bottom you can see the gyro data. We can you know, open these sides up a little bit here. We can see the information about the, the clip itself, that it detected the camera. It's got gyro data embedded in it. I really don't need to change anything at all on this left side. On the right side, I'm just taking the defaults for the stabilization and then determine what do I want my output to be. So by default, it's going to be what it detected and it detected 3840 by 2160 at 105 megabits, which is fine. It's perfect. And if we hit play here, we can see the stabilized footage and you can see it does a very very good job of stabilizing the footage for you but before you get to this point before you hit record on the drone there's a set two settings that you have to change first off using the goggles you go to your camera settings and you have to set the field of view to wide okay step one next you need to go to the stabilization settings and turn off stabilization you do not want rock steady. You do not want horizon level. You just want those turned off. That's when the gyro data will be embedded in the footage. And that's what gyro flow uses. So here we're in this clip here. I can scrub through it. If I just want to export the entire footage, I can just click export. If I want to just take a, a piece out of this, I can scrub through this find a spot that I want, I'll hit my in key, or I for in, and well, sometimes in and out works, sometimes it doesn't. Um, I'll go back here and I'll use my trim start. Now it's only going to export this part of the footage. Now it's got my output path here, I'm just going to uh, I don't want to overwrite any file that I've already stabilized, so I'm just going to change that and hit export. Now, what you're seeing running on here at this particular speed, this is running on a MacBook Pro M1 Max with 64 gigs of RAM. So it does this very quickly. It's running it at 61 frames per second, so basically real time in if it's a five minute clip, it's gonna take five minutes to export, eh, give or take, sometimes a little bit faster. But it does, does it pretty well. If I run the same thing with the same footage on my Intel MacBook, it's gonna take significantly longer. It will work, but it will take longer. But on my MacBook Pro M1 Max, it just flies through this footage. So now I will go and we'll go find that particular clip. So 
here we have the clip stabilized. We'll run that and we can see that it's done a great job. So it will maintain your color profiles. I shot this in Cinelike D. Now I can take it right into my software and process it, add my LUTs, do whatever, and get the footage looking exactly the way I want. So that's the Avada, how to set it up to use Gyroflow and some basic things on using Gyroflow to get the most out of your footage. Side-by-side -side comparisons, I, I did a few early on. The Rocksteady was really, really good. Gyroflow seemed to do a little bit better. And anytime something is a little bit better, it may be worth doing. Now, if you're just doing a quick clip for Instagram or something, you may not need to go through the whole extra process of, of using Gyroflow, just turn on the stabilization. And if it works good for you, then great. You know, fantastic. For me, I may not be the smoothest on the controls. I may have a little bit of wind that's pushing it around. You know, I may be a little floaty depending on what I'm doing. And so Gyroflow does a really, really good job of locking it in. And I have the option of locking the horizon in Gyroflow as well and really nailing that horizon down. So there's pros and cons to doing both. Certainly there's an extra step in the process. If you have 30 minutes of footage, you're going to spend at least 30 minutes of processing, loading the files, hitting the export, maybe doing multiple cuts through there to trim it out so you're not exporting the entire thing the whole time. It really depends on how your workflow is going to be. But I think DJI embedding this gyro data in the Avada is definitely a game changer for some of us to help us get the smoothest, most cinematic looking footage possible. So check it out. There's a link in the description below. I'll put it right here on the screen of where to go get Gyroflow. Like I said, it's free software. So it's, it's really, really nice piece of software that these people have done to help you get butter smooth footage. So for me with the Avada and Gyroflow, awesome combination to get awesome footage. So if you have any questions, be sure and put them in the comments below and I'll see what I can do to help you out. But I am loving this combination right now. Thanks for watching everybody. This has been Carrie with Filmmaker Central. I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.